This is Radio Zrombesh. Today is Monday, 6th of January, 2020. Baloch National Movement has published the monthly report regarding the human rights situation in Balochistan for the month of December 2019. While presenting the report, the Central Information Secretary Dilmurad Baloch stated the last month of 2019 also ended with the continued state barbarism. This month, the security forces carried out 50 military operations and raids. During these raids, the security forces looted more than 100 houses. 71 civilians were forcibly disappeared. In the same month, seven dead bodies were found. Among the dead, one lost his life due to indiscriminate police firing. One was murdered by the state-sponsored death squad members, presumably while resisting burglary or enforced disappearance. Two other embraced martyrdom at the ends of the security forces. The death causes of three other dead bodies remain unknown. The Central Information Secretary of BNM also stated that 15 people had been released from the torture cells of the security forces of Pakistan. Among them, two had been kidnapped in 2018 and the rest of 13 persons had been abducted in 2019 between the months of June and December. He added, along with the establishment of three new check posts in the month of December, army carried out a severe level of operations in the areas of Jahu, Avaran, Cage and in the vicinity of Bolan. Dilmurad Baloch asserted not only the frightening darkness of slavery continues in Balochistan but also witnesses a constant rise in it. In this month, the foot soldiers had the support of the gunship helicopters in all the military operations. He further said, in Balochistan, the meaning of the military operation is all out destruction. Wherever the military storms, the torture, shifting people into military torture cells, looting and burning of the houses becomes a part and parcel. He also stated, Baloch National Movement for several years has been collecting the data of Pakistani atrocities and war crimes and sharing them with the world. The basic purpose of this is to inform the world about the human rights violations of Pakistan happening in the width and breadth of Balochistan. The world should see the true face of the Pakistani army, which carried out massacre of 3 million civilians in Bangladesh and dishonored hundreds of thousands of women. Today, Pakistan's army is repeating the same in Balochistan. It seems that the world cares more about their interests than the spilled blood of the humans. Otherwise, Pakistan would have been held accountable for committing war crimes in Balochistan on the ground of these given statistics. Dilmurad Baloch said the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Balochistan and the spilling of the blood of innocent people are questioning the world when the soul of the world would wake up from the deep slumber. The army of Pakistan and its intelligence agencies are killing people on a daily basis. In such a state, the silence of the international community is questionable. We believe the indifference of the world is one of the factors contributing to the genocide of the Baloch nation. If the international community and international human rights organizations knew their responsibilities and took practical action against Pakistan, then the young and elders in Balochistan would not be murdered with such impunity. The central information of Baloch national movement appealed to the world we request to the United Nations, the international community, human rights organizations and international media to come forward to save the wailing soul of humanity in Balochistan. The delay and negligence of these organizations from their responsibilities is the reason which is adding to the difficulties of the Baloch nation. You are listening Zrombish Radio.